Welcome back to our Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. We are now on episode 40. Between the previous episode and this one, I've done a bit of exploring on the map, doing like other repetitive stuff like the uh, some of these camps, the uh, milling trials, and whatnot. So much that I won't gain more experience when you further milling trials. Don't know if there's any point to continue doing them. Huh. I don't there's anything over there. I'll have to make a mental note of that. Uh, one over there. But I did a lot of them. As you can see, the map is fairly clear now. So, we're going to continue and progress with Storyline and talk to Sebastian. You made it. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what... Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. I was investigating it. In knowledge of you, mate, because I don't want to cause a war. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Me, my incredibly regal cloak. Uh. Ah, it's this house. Aha! Sebastian, where did you. Is that. What I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. What <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. That boy will fray my last nerve. Sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <sighs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft re between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to... I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean oh, well, I know up. they do, but my uncle is right. To certain extent. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Oh, is this going to have reference to that? That's when the ancient magic that 
in the past that student who won't take her father's pain away. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you no, for stopping by. You clearly don't think of the futility because you're excited. I wish by you the well. Then you brought you before your uncle disintegrated. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. Mm. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. <laughs> I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. You see, I think... Like, yes, okay, he was never but cures always come lay down the line. Why would she like not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best what for he Anne. He's always angry. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son. I'm the one trying to help her. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her yeah. entirely. Constant pain I miss my it. sister. Yeah. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. Yeah, they should not magic. be underestimated. Hmm. This potentially lead to all a... the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've yeah. been digging for something. An optional film where you can try to use ancient magic to cure her. Potentially, it go a foul. Just like I'm assuming that our predecessor... Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Why? So far they've just been ransacking, by killing wise but they forgot a way to curse How much her. longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honour to be a part of it. Only good wizard is a dead wizard in my book. What was that? Commander. You've made oh. your last mistake. 
You're really not very good at this, are you? Defender. Defender. Oh, Confringo. Confringo. Let's get this over with. You're making cover up way. This way. Confringo. Don't you try again, I beg you. I can do this for hours. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained. Revelio, I tried to warn you. That was a lot of them. Let's leave them out. I used up. I didn't expect that to be as big of a fight as it was. Boy. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Mm. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here Rebellion. for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumour was, a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Oh, it's one of the ancient magic ones, I see. Make a lot of sense. I've heard the goblin dig are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Yeah, Always good. armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Oh. And one coin. Gee. Doing that. It's in there, probably where I go, but first off. This well looks familiar. Yeah, because it's from that memory thing. I already guessed that earlier. Sebastian! I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Revelio!
Now I can tell that game. Sebastian, over here. Do you think oh. that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. It's a blast on it. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following well, you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? Maybe if I can weak. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. This obvious Someone ball piled. that I was trying to get earlier. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. I mean, it's not like you couldn't just climb through that gap right there. Revelio. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here Block worth a closer look. Blocking it well. They've left all of this Lumos. simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something. Revelio. A journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Revelio. Incendio. Re You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Thanks, Sebastian. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to... Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Could see? Yes? No? Let us load in. Yeah. 
Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. I have a picture. Who ripped out the canvas? Why, it's just a spot like Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. No. Really? Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? Revelio. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the Keepers. I've been thinking. A Keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps th Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't- Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. I'll be in touch. Till then. Hmm. So, interactive, Rumors. but not yet. Revelio. Right. Meet me near the ruins of Falbutton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Okay. Oh, I've got two questions. you think you were doing? That owl has been in our family for 30 years. That's a long living owl. Did you get killed? Interesting. Only class and guardian of earth are required. Let's see. Always check. Side quests don't always appear. Let's do this. Sometimes you want something. Looks mean that. Like that one. Okay. We'll do that in a minute. We'll dialogue thing. I've never seen these before. Is this like a consequence choice kind of thing? You had these kind of choices. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Right, let's say first, just in case it is a consequence thing. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. 
Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium. Ominous swears it was used for the dark arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium... Ominous is right. Meddling in the dark arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. If I were you, I'd be begging for more details. It's not that I'm not interested. And you can certainly... Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Yes. Crucio, correct? The Talk Cruciatus on, Curse. Yeah. Also known as the... T Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Oh, Almost described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific. So the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he won't stop listening to me. I'll them. remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. This is just a bonus dialogue thing. Alright, let's quickly do the Hogsmeade side quest. Probably gonna be a quick one. Hogsmeade, here I come. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. Hello? Is something... Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. His voice oh, the vicious fit. brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match. I'm sorry about your moon calf. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one. Oh, my poor Biscuit. Why do you suppose the poachers... I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizer. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be... F I'll keep an eye out. Oh, how kind. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me. Do keep an eye out for her. And be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. What's this one again? I guess it's just kill some poachers. Off on another adventure, are we? Poachers. God, if was right then, I'd better be careful. Okay. Yep, just like Bell Shirts a strange that attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. that man dodge. Real quick, is it you? Slippery as a kelpie, they say. Can bring us. Oh, you. Descender. Oh, Directing my attack. Descend up. 
Oh, thanks, game. What are you doing? What is going on? Glacius! Confringo! Descender! No, it's not happy, is it? Revelio. Oh, there's a killer skin. So it'll stay where it is. God. And where do I set my trap? Which one of you is Biscuit? All right, Biscuit. Let's get you back to Garnif, shall we? Revelio. I don't bother catching him more to sell. Very really pointless. Uh. Well, I don't have rain. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I do without her. Garnef, I've read. You have! Oh. Biscuit is fine, as am I. Oh, mercy. I cannot wait to get her home. Huh. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm her. sure she'll be happy to go. Oh, that is a great. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My. As I said before. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Guess I might as well uh. sell some gear while I'm here. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance at all? Eh, uh, there's no... I wish it told you how much you had a fin to me. In the menu, but... Can't tell what I found it. A wise decision! Thank you. Okay. Might as well do the shot like this. Can't see it's class taken. Long these quests normally quite quick, so let's just quickly do this then. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. And your reading is the dragon. Oh, there's a lot of strong That's things. exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. 
Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Introduce the mini game for. Oh. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? So now it's clutchable. <sighs> Dismissed. What's the reward, I wonder? Millions of the infantry sorts. Age of magic fins, more age of magic Oh, uh, hello. Hmm. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. Oh, hello. I'll meet. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your... That's very kind of you, I'll meet. I... I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it? It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. Ish. But my old model's not. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right under. I have some uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards, and bring the telescope. Okay. Do, 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 do. Tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. <laughs> but the storage room is just out in the open, essentially. A pristine night for stargazing. Professor Shaw. It is increasingly. But if you truly desire to chop, we ourselves are not unlike. Am I right in thinking? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries. <laughs> I like this one. Thank you, one Professor. Is near I look forward to stargazing. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happened. And it mm. seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to Where find it? hidden constellations. It's one of the oh, it's on the gardens. And you need someone to help find. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll... Sh No need to come in. Yeah. Brilliant. You won't, shall we? Start the new collector. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Revelio. Sounds like us. Yeah, the centaurs will keep seeing them from far things. Huh. It 
It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Yes, 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 Happy yes, to yes, be yes. here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little purple. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as incendiary. Problems. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Not this close to school, I mean. Look, there's the table. I think you should do the The constellation should appear near the center of your view. was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. This is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest. Oh, and if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. <coughs> That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure. So, now we can hunt these down. Find the strong challenge a lot. Ah. <sighs> Never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a... So, what does this challenge actually do? Mm -hmm. This is a cosmetic. That one's quite worthwhile. Ah, uh, it's just cosmetic. Do it. Oh well. Now do them as well. Okay, so doing no side quests that just randomly appeared. Uh, I don't think so. So I may do a bit of. There's only cosmetic ones. I may just do off-screen a little bit of searching for these tables, and then I'll come back and record the next story quest so that's the end of this episode so hopefully we'll see each other again goodbye